Video Content Monitoring, Tektronics. Content Monitoring. Effective monitoring would be scalable from a small system to a large system, 24 hours of monitoring, and customer experience oriented. It would be able to provide alerts that are actionable with quick correlation to the problem, notify the correct technician, and also prevent alert flooding of the technician. Content monitoring would also have a reporting function that would be user-defined with scheduled reports and 60 days of statistical information. Introducing the Tektronix Sentry for broadcasters. Tektronix Sentry for broadcasters provides content monitoring all layers all the time. That includes transmission, RF and IP, transport, MPEG and syntax layers, and content where the video and audio reside. Alerts provided on content errors for video and audio, transport errors for MPEG syntax, and loudness errors on audio. Reporting provides a simplified overview. Reporting on closed caption occupancy, detailed statistics, or simplified graphs. Depth matters. On the transmission layer, we've come to know this as quality of service for both RF and IP components. On the transport layer, we usually talk about this in terms of transport stream syntax and even phase lock loop timing. All transport stream analyzers look at the transmission and transport layer of the MPEG signal. When we move into the area of quality of experience, we're now looking at the content. The Sentry product family looks between transmission, transport, and the content layers. This is the standard program dashboard for the Sentry Edge for broadcasters. This Sentry Edge is placed in the Los Angeles basin, uh, looking at all of the uh, channels off air. The idea of the dashboard interface is it gives us a high level overview of everything that is happening with the broadcasters. In this particular case, I'm using the NBC uh, group to look at. I am collecting 60 days of information on the signal for the NBC program group and able to correlate that into a number of different graphs that tell me what's happening to my station within the past period of time. In this case, it's the last hour. I can simplify this view into something that would maybe more important like FCC violations. So in the last hour, this is a view of what the potential FCC violations are happening for the NBC uh, station. So this is a, a view of uh, potential violations in uh, audio loudness, uh, closed captioning, and discontinuities. The green indicating that I'm within the tolerances that I've set up, and uh, the red and the yellow showing that I am actually having problems with it. So if I look at the yellow graph, it's showing that I have one program that is currently going out of specification. When I move over to uh, a deeper dive into that view, I have a time-aligned, time-correlated graphs of what's happening with this particular channel lined up with continuity issues. So I'm looking at a time-aligned graph of the NBC program group. I'm looking at the total bit rate that's being occupied and the audio level for the past 12 hours along with any errors that have occurred in the uh, content. If I zoom in on any one of these areas, so if I zoom in on the discontinuity or the error, the graphs will rescale and show me more detail about what time that this occurred. If I have the quality of experience option uh, enabled on the package, then I'll, it'll give me more detailed information about what the type of losses are happening, whether it's a video packet loss, uh, an audio packet loss. On the audio levels, the dashed line represents my dial norm, and the solid line represents my overall average power for the signal and the candlesticks are showing me what the dynamic range changes are happening on the channel. The Century Edge has dual tuners. I have one tuner locked onto the NBC channel. I have a second tuner that is roaming all the channels within the LA market, collecting data for each of those channels. Other information that I can get from the Century Edge is closed captioning. So for the period of the last one hour, I can see what's happened for my closed captioning information, my 608 and my 708. I can see that the 708 is coming and going most likely because there are commercial changes during the time that don't have 708 content in them. 
Other functions within the Sentry is getting into alerting. I can actually go and create alerts based upon a menu of items. With programs are not detected, bitrate drops. Where the video is free frozen, programs are not detected, bitrate drops, the video or program freezes, and the audio is silent for a period of time. We're also able to create reports based upon user-definable conditions that can report on different compliance violations. Scheduling reports. So I can schedule a report to occur on a hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly basis, and the reports can be scheduled on a time of day to arrive and come to the administrator, the chief engineer, master controller, station manager with a, a subject. And this can be include calm compliance or closed captioning. For more information on Century Edge for broadcasters, please go to the Tektronix website.